What's up? What's up? What's up, people? Do I, how are you doing today? This is Coach DC of the Intense Fit Way, where discipline is the way. So, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments. Leave your comments. Your comments allow me to see perspectives beyond my own and to experience words beyond my beyond the the simple 500 to a thousand words that i use daily mostly every day well we all do so your comments help me think good bad happy sad ignorant or whatever the comments actually allow us or help us to think along different lines or see different perspectives because what we really know is whatever i see is what I'll say. And that's all I'll say. Because I can't see anymore. I'll only say what I see. But anyway, on to the subject of today strategically single. Strategically single. So I've been watching and observing lately. And um, the one thing I've been watching and observing is people. And the words they use, the tones they use, the messages they send out. And I got to tell you, all those people out there that think they're special and they're different and they're high and mighty and they're prettier. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not, you're not because you're running the same program that everybody else is running. All you got to do is look around and see. You're doing the same jobs. You're, you're answering the same way. You got the same attitude. You got on the same dress, same shoes. Uh, you fix yourself up the same way with your hair, your nails. You you come in the gym the same way. Most people are on the same program, but are, are in this this fog of zombieism that makes them think they're doing something special or out of the ordinary. You're not. We're all a part of this program that I'll call America right now, as far as we're concerned, because this is the soil we were grown up in, brought up in. This is the soil that we still eat every day. This is the air that we breathe every day and recycle every day. These are the words and the environment that we take in and we recycle every day. So everybody is running a program. That's why I'm so silent most of the time, because I have to sit with myself to understand what program am I running and is it useful and helpful for this time and being that I'm in right here, right now, at this moment? That's why you see me get quiet on YouTube and all the other um, social media after a while because I'm sitting there trying to understand, am I repeating the same thing everyone else is repeating? And if I am, is that helpful for me in my current place and space in this time of existence? And I think that's one of the major problems that we all have is we don't have time to do what I call processing or sit with new information, sit with new feelings and really go through them and say, OK, so do I want to do this again? Do I need to repeat this again? Or is this something that's unhelpful for me that I am expressing and it's unhelpful for, for everybody around me, which means it's getting a bad response from my environment. So strategically single, listen to people. They don't talk in, I want to be in a relationship anymore. They don't talk in a relatable way anymore. It's always about I, it's always about me. It's always about I'm an individual and all of these things. And guess what? There is no individuality on a planet where you have to breathe the air to live. There is no individuality on a planet where you have to eat the food to live. There's no individuality on a planet where you have to hear other people think to think for yourself and have rational thoughts. In other words, there are no individuals. And it's the most ignorant thing anybody can say. And I know somebody's going to come up with the comments on this one. But I'm an individual. I'm special. No, you're not. You came from your parents. You came up in that environment. 
You came up in that schooling. You're repeating those same words, those same thoughts, those same behaviors today that are probably getting you nowhere or now here. There are no individuals. Never ever put yourself on such a high high heel. It would be it's, it's complete ignorance. But anyway, I'm going to move away from that one. But what I mean by strategically seeing single is everybody's running the program to make themselves single. Listen, that program that I'm talking about, everybody is running to make themselves single is simply competition. The men are competing with the women. The women are competing with the men. The trans are competing with the gays. The gays are competing with the, with, 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 with the I don't know, the, the, known, the known people. I don't know. But the program is simply competition. And does competition work in a marriage, in a relationship? No. Cooperation works in a marriage, in a relationship. But most of the words you hear, most of the tones you hear from people nowadays on all of the social media platforms are competitive spirit. The competitive spirit, the competitive words, the I'm better than you, the I'm doing it this way and you're not doing it this way, so you're wrong. The in crowd and the out crowd. This same program has been running for thousands of years. The in and the out, the tip and the tat, the, the here and the there. They've been running the same program on us for thousands of years. And here's the thing. The way the program works is we have to swallow the words, repeat them, and run the program for them. We have to swallow the words, put them in our mind, our just great, this great magnetic being that we have right here, and then we express them to other people like they're the truth. But in reality, it's just a program that we've been giving to run now and here at this moment, this space and time. So when you understand that you're doing nothing but running programs, you start to want to create your own programs to run. You start to want to be your own programmer. And you start to watch other people and listen to them in their programming. And like I said, if you listen long enough, the program that's running right now is strategically single. You're single because they told you you're an individual. You're strong. Your feelings were hurt because this person did this. Not understanding that this person was only capable of doing this and not capable of doing what you wanted them to do because they've never done it before. So we're strategically sim single. As long as you're thinking of yourself as an individual in a space and place where you have to breathe the air to actually live, the planet is actually breathing us right now, and you think you're an individual, you will be single. I don't really care. I'm just telling you the program that they're running and that you're probably going to repeat it back to me in the comment section in a minute because that's your program. And it's really hard to know your program or to smell the shit you're in when you're in it. But when you get out of it and you take a moment to get space, you start to see, oh, they're running the same program. They're walking the same. They're talking the same. They're behaving the same. They're nothing but a bunch of zombies running the program. And the program right now is strategically single. Now, I've told you what the program is. I told you how it runs. How do you change it? I'll spend 60 seconds on how you change it. I told you that in the beginning also. You stop. You stop talking for a minute. You stop emoting for a minute. You just stop and you breathe for a while. You start to look at the words and, and really get to understand the words that are coming out of your mouth and why they are coming out of your mouth. You start to use the words wisely instead of just flippantly and throwing them around like monkeys throw shit. That's how you change your program. But guess what? Most people can't change their program. Not only can't, but they won't change their program. Number one, it's too hard. Number two, it will alienate them away from their friends and people that are boosting them up as this great person that they think they are. And number three, 
I'm going to go back to number one. It's hard for you to see your own shit. And with that, this is Coach DC. Peace.